Hey folks, welcome back to Metroid Prime 3. Here in Elysia, currently finding bomb components so that we can destroy the shield around the Leviathan. And we only have one more bomb component to get. And luckily for us, it's right over there. So let's use our new Seeker missiles. Get access to this cannon. And shoot on over. So yeah, this last one isn't really as much of a pain in the ass to get as the other two. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but destroy those. And there's the third bomb component. Excellent. Excellent work, Samus. The Theronian bomb is complete. We are now ready to execute the final stage of our plan. Place the bomb in the cargo hold of the spire pod. We will mark the spire location on your map. Please hurry. There is no time to lose. And the spire is the big central... Duma Jahiki that is somewhere around here, I don't know, they all look the same. We've been there, you know it. Yep, this is the spire right here. So, now just turn on the visor, put it in. Samus, now that the bomb is in place, return to the AU chamber so that we may discuss the final stage of our plan. Yay, backtracking for no good reason, honestly. It's not like they need to meet in person, because Samus never says anything and they have radio contact. But you'll understand why in a few seconds. By a few seconds, I mean like a minute or two. Hi, you. I just saw you. The Theronium bomb is primed and ready. Excellent work, Samus. To drop the bomb onto the Leviathan shield, you must move the bomb pod directly over the Leviathan and shut down the pod's engine. This must be done manually. This is a dangerous mission. Will you accept it? I don't know what happens if you say no. We understand your need to prepare. Return when you are ready, but please hurry. Your assistance is vital. Yeah, that just gives you a chance to go grab power-ups if you want. Will you accept it? Oh, fine. Thank you. Initiating Skytown Migration. We will move the Skytown facility as close as possible to the Leviathan shield, and then deploy the bomb pod. Do you understand what you were supposed to do, Samus? After shutting off the engines, 
Use the escape capsule to return here. Skytown migration complete. You must now proceed to the bomb pod. We will release the cables once you're in position. We regret this mission places you in mortal danger, but there are no other options. Good luck. Alrighty. We got a suicide mission. If we screw this up, we're going kamikaze. I'd hop on over here. Yep, and make the exact same trek that we just made twice. Isn't that wonderful? And shoot on over here. And let's get to work. must have detected your movement toward the seed. If the spire is destroyed before reaching the impact site, all hope for Alicia is lost. You must defend the spire at all costs. Use everything in your power to ensure its safe passage. Good luck, Samus. So, yep, this is in fact a defend the thingamajig mission, not a turn off the engines with proper timing game. Oh, hello. Now, my favorite way to take care of these skiffs is with hyper mode, but unfortunately, I'm not very good at it. But yeah, this is not a hard section unless you're on hyper mode, in which case, oh god. It's a very decent number of enemies. Oh my god, Skiff, die already. Now you can't see it because the HUD is off, uh, but the Spire is has a health bar. And uh, it does deplete. I don't think it's time-based, I think it is actually enemy-based. It's not like they don't give you enough health uh, drops, it's more a matter of can you beat them quick enough. Yeah, these bastards you'll want hyper mode for. Is there another? Yeah, there is. Hi. Now, unfortunately, there's not much to say because this is pretty much straight combat. There's no rhyme or reason or strategy, it's just beat things as quickly as possible. And generally, that means hyper mode. Beat the skiffs as quickly as possible. You might want to make that your priority, I don't know. Oh, goddammit. Black Border made it so hard to see where the edge is. But that'll only cost you, uh, time. Anyway, as usual, corruption is quite useful here. Uh, since you don't want to expend all your energy tanks over and over.
Yeah, it's pretty much this. If you don't know how to deal with pirates by this point, uh, that's a problem. Because you're going to need to deal with pirates. There we go. Once you've killed a certain number of enemies, they all explode or fly away or something. And we magically get right over the Leviathan. Here we release the locks. And get ready to fall. That is a weird looking escape system. Oh. Five minutes, seriously? Seems pretty generous just for, for pressing this thing. Escape pod malfunction. Opening repair access tunnel. Yeah, you didn't think it would be that easy, would you? They need to shoehorn in a little puzzle, which is actually probably a good thing. Because this is a very combat-oriented game. But of course, it's a puzzle we've seen before. A wonderful magical puzzle known as repairing those things with the welding torch. But there are three of them, oh my goodness. And I suppose these are the hardest welding torch puzzles we've seen so far, but... They're still, can you draw on a line? And unless you're absolutely horrible to stress, five minutes is excessive here. If there were, like, security bots down here preventing you from from welding, maybe that would work, but uh, five minutes is a lot. Oh, hey, look. These things. So, yeah, it's a bit not pulse pounding at all because they're way too generous with the time limit. If they had cut it down to like a minute and a half that would actually be pretty tricky. Okay, maybe two minutes. Whatever. Let's see ya. Shall do. And, uh, that's that. That, uh, spire area that we used to destroy the shield will now no longer be in Elysia. We'll have to get around through other methods, which is cool uh, for when we're backtracking around here.
And uh, that takes care of destroying the Leviathan shield. So next time, we'll head to the seed. So I will see you guys next time.